Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, we've got prices up a little bit overnight in the grains. Uh, beans up a couple of cents, corn up a couple of cents, and Chicago wheat up about four cents. On Friday, the USDA came out uh, with their report, and it came in line with pretty much expectations with higher U.S. bean acres, lower corn and wheat, and uh, higher stocks in both corn, beans, and wheat than a year ago. And the market reacted with sharply lower prices in beans, but we saw some short covering by the funds in corn and wheat. Uh, we did find out that on Friday, the funds had increased their short position in corn to over 150,000 contracts, and in wheat, almost 140,000 contracts. Seems like that's a little overdone going into the 2017 crop growing season, especially with forecasts that Europe and the former Soviet Union could be a little bit drier this year than normal. In the beans, though, their expectations were that we might continue to sink lower, except for the fact that we're seeing some heavy rains across about half of Argentina, which could raise concern about crops there. As far as Brazil is concerned, dry weather across the southern third of Brazil should allow harvest to continue there, and we still see concerns about China's lower crush margins, uh, reducing some of the buying by the, the Chinese. After the dust settled, you saw people talk about the 17 and 18 U.S. soybean carryout, maybe as high as 530 million bushels versus 435 this year. This includes an export number of 2100 versus 2025 this year, and there's some people who think that might be a little high given the large South American crop. The average corn carryout for 17 and 18 is 2360. That's even with the lower acres. This includes a big drop in exports to 1825 from this year's 2225. And in wheat, a carryout of 935 versus 1129 this year. This includes exports hanging around 980 versus 1025. So even the lower wheat acres is not enough to dramatically lower wheat stocks. So, so now it's April, will be the time of year when we start planting spring crops. We've got a six to 10 day, it's calling for normal rains across most of the Midwest and normal to above temps. So we'll see if there's any delays and that might cause a little bit more short covering in the corn. And we'll just kind of see how things kind of play out as we go along as far as demand is concerned. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.